Wild Combo Crew! It's showtime! And today, me and Gil are going to find out which one of us is the real Pokemon Master! Aw, oh, yeah, that's right, Combo. And we're gonna ask each other Pokemon facts to see who is the very best, like no one ever was. And the loser gets uh, trapped in a Pokeball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gil, I'll go first because my headphones are red. The same color as one of the first Pokemon games that came out. Hey, wait a minute. The first Pokemon games were Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Red. I'm blue, so why don't I get to go first? Because... The first two games released in Japan were red and green. Blue wasn't released until later. All right, fine. You win this round, Combo. Wait, wait, no, no, you don't win this round. Ugh, trying to flex your Pokemon knowledge before we even get started. Okay, Gil, this is an easy one. Where does the name Pokemon come from? Come on, dude, you think I'm some youngster trainer you're finding out in Viridian Forest? No way, this is way too easy, come on, man. Pokemon is the combination of the words pocket and monster. Yabby, yabby. Because Pokeballs can fit in your pocket. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have gone easy on you. Okay, Combo, speaking of Pokeballs, where did the inspiration for capturing monsters and balls come from? Oh, this one's easy! It's, uh, uh from playing dodgeball? Inko Ferret. I mean, uh, incorrect. <laughs> Oops, got a little Pokemon on the brain. Yeah. Combo Panda, I choose you! Huh? Ow! Looks like I'm blasting off again! <laughs> so, Pokeballs are inspired by Gachapon vending machines in Japan. You can find these vending machines all over Japan, which have collectible toys in them that come in plastic capsules. In fact, Pokemon was originally gonna be called Capsule Monsters. Whoa, bet you didn't know that, hmm, hmm, hmm? Alrighty, Gil, that question was super effective. But I bet you don't know some of the English names for the Pokemon that were changed before they came out in America. Like, coughing and wheezing were going to be called NY and LA. Whoa, uh, I guess they're saying those cities have a lot of air pollution. We can take the hint, Pokemon. <laughs> but uh, what's your question? Well, you know Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff, right? Any idea what their names used to be? Hmm, let me see. Okay, they're uh, pink and kind of fluffy. So, um, Bubblegum and Peeps Bunny. No. Pinkberry and Loop Balloon. What the heck is a Luft Balloon? I don't know. He just kind of looks like a Luft Balloon. <laughs> no! They were called Pudding and Custard, dude. Oh, what? Can you even imagine a Pudding Pokemon? Puddingmon, I choose you. Puddingmon, use Body Slam now. Uh, that's okay. You use your hyper beam. Put him on. No. All right, combo. You got me on that one. But how about this? There are two famous Pokemon that appear in almost every episode of the Pokemon cartoon show anime that are the exact opposite of each other. Can you guess which ones? Huh. <laughs> There are a lot of Pokemon that are the opposites of each other, but in the cartoon show. Hmm. Oh! Oh, this one's obvious! It's Pikachu and Meowth! One is a cat, the other's a mouse. Also, Pikachu's Pokedex number is 25, while Meowth's is 52. See, their numbers are flipped! Exact opposites! Now, oh, man, I thought I got you with that one. Combo Bunga! I'm feeling so combo confident right now! How about a little combo panda? Ba ba ba! Bonus fact! 
Did you know that Meowth's design is based on a Japanese cat statue called a Maneki Neko? Meow. They're used as good luck charms and are often holding an old style of gold coin called a Koban, which looks just like the coin on Meowth's head. And that's a real payday right there. Oh, cool. I wonder if they make pink ones. It would kind of look like Alpha Alexa. Meow. Okay, Gil. We both have one point each, but it's my turn now. And speaking of paydays, what's the rarest Pokemon card, Gil? Hmm, is it a first edition holographic Charizard? Ooh, that's a good guess, but no. The rarest Pokemon card is the Pikachu Illustrator card. There were only 39 of them made, and one sold online for $50,000! You think if I made my own super custom, one-of-a-kind, ultra-powerful guild trading card, someone would buy it? Yeah, uh, no, probably not. No. All right, you know what? I know what'll trip you up. You'll never get this. <laughs> what is my favorite Pokemon? <laughs> Easy. You basically told me with your last answer. It's Charizard. Ah, oh, what? How did you know? Not fair. Hey, all is fair in love and Pokemon. Well, it's pretty easy to guess your favorite Pokemon, too. It's probably that panda Pokemon. What's his name? Uh, Pancham. I'm sure that's your favorite. What? No! That guy stole my luck! I'm the real video game panda, not that guy! Uh, tell that to his evolved form, Pangoro. He's like 6'11 and 300 pounds. I know they call me Big Gil, but I'm not messing with that guy. He'd eat you for breakfast like a bowl of panda puffs. Psh! You just haven't seen my evolved form, Gil. When I power up to the max and turn into... Bunganator! Yeah, uh, you probably need to hit the gym then. I don't know. Then I'd have to hang out with all the gym bro Pokemon, like my champ. Dude, you're so lucky I'm working out right now. Because if I wasn't, I'd come over there and seismic toss you for saying that. Do you even lift, bro? Uh, actually, I don't. Well, why don't you come over here and get started, bro? I'll train you myself. Okay, I guess I can give it a try. Ah, dude, this is way too heavy. I think I can barely do one rep. Now just 99 more to go. Wait, what? All right, whatever. It's my turn now. <sighs> Ooh, why do Poliwag, Poliwhirl, and Polyrath have a spiral pattern on their belly? Oh yeah, you messed up, Combo. You asked a water type question, so of course I would know this one. Poliwag is the tadpole Pokemon, and actual tadpoles' intestines are in a spiral pattern in real life. Although they can't use that to hypnotize you like Poliwag. You with your water type questions. Water ever. Okay, Gil, it's time for the last round. Let's do this. You know how the regions in the Pokemon games are based on places in real life? Name all the places that they are based on. I sure did, and I totally have all of them memorized. But instead of answering for myself, I'm gonna use my Pokemon to answer for me. Wait. Is that against the rules? I don't know, but I'm still doing it. Pikachu, I choose you. Gil, I'm right here. Okay, cool. Pikachu, use your useless knowledge attack. Oh, uh, okay. Um, fictional geography time. So the first four Pokemon versions were based on regions in Japan. Kanto from Red and Blue was based on the region of the same name. Gold and Silver's Johto is based on Kansai. Ruby and Sapphire's Hoenn is Kyushu. Diamond and Pearl Sinnoh is modeled after Hokkaido. After that, Black and White's Unova is New York and the surrounding area. X and Y's Kalos is in France. And Sun and Moon is based on Hawaii. Aww, well the ding doesn't lie. I guess that works. Even though I don't think you knew any of that, Gil. All right. What's your last question for me? 
And I'll show you who's smarter than Pikachu! Okay, Combo, this is a short and sweet question. What was the first Pokemon ever designed? Oh, hey, I can help with this one, Combo. I helped Gil after all. I can help you. Well, I should be able to help you if I helped Gil. It was right. No need, Pack! I got this one! It's not Bulbasaur, even though in the Pokedex, he's number one. The first Pokemon actually designed and coded into the game was... Rhydon! Even though his Pokedex number is 112. Oh man, you got it. Oh. Well, now we're tied. What does that mean? It can only mean one thing, Gil. We have to battle! All right, Combo, you're right. Our eyes met, we have to battle. I like shorts, because they're comfy and easy to wear. Big Gil uses water gun attack. Yeah, get the water out of my face. Okay, Combo used jump kick. <laughs> you missed combo. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh! Combo Bunga! I caught Big Gill! Well, I guess this means I win! Anyway, thanks for watching, Combo Crew! Please throw a Pokeball at the like button if you like this video. And don't forget to subscribe! Later, Combo Crew! Please let me out. Come on, Combo, please, please, choose me! <laughs>